The Cincinnati Bengals are going on the road to face the Cleveland Browns on Thursday Night Football. Now, both of these two teams lost their week one matchups. The Cincinnati Bengals lost the heartbreaker to the Los Angeles Chargers. And the game that was really close wasn't really a whole lot of scoring. And the Bengals on the last drive had a lot of things that didn't go their way. I mean, you had the touchdown by A.J. Green that got called back due to offensive pass interference. Then, for Cincinnati to tie the game up and send the game into overtime, that didn't happen either because their kicker missed the game time field goal. So then you got the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns, I mean, they were the complete opposite. The Bengals game against the Chargers was close. The Browns game against the Baltimore Ravens wasn't close at all. And they really struggled. I mean, the defense didn't play well, and the offense really struggled. And I mean, I know a lot of people are going to be quick to call the Cleveland Browns and Baker Mayfield overrated and say that this is not a good team. But I've been telling people this all off season. When you have a new head coach and you have your players learning a new system, you can't really expect them to do well week one with the conditions that they will face to work with this offseason. I mean, due to the pandemic that's going on, teams didn't really have a lot of time to prep. So, I mean, you're looking at the Cleveland Browns who only really had about three to four weeks to, you know, go on the field and learn their playbook and try to master as many plays as possible. So, I mean... It's not really all that surprising that the offense kind of came out flat week one. So you look at the Cleveland Browns in this game, you're going to be facing the Cincinnati Bengals defense that isn't as good as Baltimore's defense, but they're really good up front. Now, Geno Atkins didn't play week one against the L.A. Chargers. Now, I don't know if he's going to play in this game or not, but it's going to be interesting to find out if he does play in this game because I think Geno Atkins could have a really significant impact if he plays in this game for the Cincinnati Bengals for the fact that the Cleveland Browns like to run the football a lot. And if you got Geno Atkins there paired up with DJ Reader, it's going to make it even more difficult for the Cleveland Browns to have success running the football. And then when you look at the Cincinnati Bengals, I mean, Joe Burrow struggled against the Chargers secondary. Like aside from that rushing touchdown that he had early on in that game, he really struggled, which wasn't really all that surprising to me because you got to look, the L.A. Chargers, even though they don't have Durant James, still had a really good secondary. So Joe Burrow had a really tough rookie debut ahead of him going against that L.A. Chargers secondary. And then on top of that, the offensive line, I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great neither. And off the tackle, Bobby Hart, I mean, he was pretty much a liability in that game for the Cincinnati Bengals. Like, he he was pretty much the worst off the lineman on the field. So he really struggled in that matchup against the Los Angeles Chargers. But you do have a Bengals team that was able to run the football last week. And they should have a pretty good amount of success running the football against this Cleveland Browns defense because the Cleveland Browns, their weakness is their lack of depth and their lack of talent at the linebacker position. And you look at what happened against Baltimore. Baltimore wasn't, you know, gashing on Cleveland in the running game because they didn't really have to. They were able to do whatever they really wanted to, if we're being honest. So you look at Cincinnati, a team that has success running the football against the Los Angeles Chargers, I think they should have a pretty easy time having success running the football with Joe Mixon against the Cleveland Browns. Because like I said, the Cleveland Browns defense line isn't all that amazing aside from Miles Garrett, and their linebacker unit isn't all that great neither, especially with the fact that they're missing one of their best linebackers in Mac Wilson. So you got this Browns defense that couldn't stop the Ravens last week. I mean, Lamar was 20-25 passing for 275 passing yards and three touchdowns. So, I mean, this Browns defense needs to come out and be able to get the job done against Joe Burrow. And give it all credit, you know, this Cincinnati Bengals offense, they're not as great as the Baltimore Ravens offense is, but just because they're not as good as the Ravens offense, that doesn't mean the Browns defense can just come on here and, you know, just sleep on them because this is a Cincinnati Bengals offense 
defense that despite the fact that they are having a rookie quarterback and he's still trying to get his feet wet in the NFL, this is still a Bengals offense that could torture you if you give Joe Burrow enough time in the pocket. Because Joe Burrow against the LA Chargers, although he did struggle, he had some really nice plays as well. And if he would have had a little bit more time to throw in the pocket, he probably could have had a lot better of a rookie debut. So, I mean, if you're the Cleveland Browns defense, man, you got to be able to stop this run game and you have to force the Cincinnati Bengals to win the game throwing the football. Because early on, I don't think the Bengals and Zach Taylor are trying to put a lot of pressure on Joe Burrow early on this season, given the fact that we haven't really had a preseason and there wasn't really a lot of time to prepare in the offseason. So week one was still kind of like a filling out process. Joe Burrow is still trying to learn the NFL game. He's still trying to get acclimated to the speed of the NFL. So you look at the Cleveland Browns, you got to be able to stop this run game and force the Cincinnati Bengals to win this game throwing the football. Because you let Cincinnati run the football, then I think that's where this defense is going to end up being in a lot of trouble. And this Browns offense going into week two, I still think this Browns offense is going to struggle because simply for the fact that they still don't really look like they have all that much timing and chemistry down. And they still don't really look like they have all that much knowledge of the playbook, really. So if you are the Cleveland Browns offense, in this game, you're still looking to gain more chemistry and get better timing between Baker Mayfield and these wide receivers. Because I understand how it's easy to call the Browns overrated because they got blowed out by the Baltimore Ravens. But I mean, the Baltimore Ravens is one of the best teams in the NFL this year. So, I mean, you can't really come out week one and expect this offense to light it up with a short training camp, not really having a lot of time to prep, on top of playing the juggernaut of a Baltimore Ravens defense. So, I mean, if you're the Cleveland Browns in this game, I still think they may come out flat. But in this game, they still need to try to develop some more timing and get some chemistry down with these wide receivers. And they should be able to do that because it's Cincinnati Bengals secondary at least from the cornerback position, still isn't all that great. Now, the safety position with Von Bell and Jesse Bates is really solid. But the cornerback position for Cincinnati, I'm still up in the air about it. So if there was a game for the Cleveland Browns to get in rhythm on offense, this probably would be the game. So the team I'm taking to win this game, I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals to win this game. And... Here's why I'm going to take Cincinnati to win this game. I still don't think Cleveland is further enough on offense to still be able to score enough points needed to win this game. And given I don't think this game is going to be all that high scoring, but I do think the Cincinnati Bengals are further along offensively than the Cleveland Browns are. Like, the Cleveland Browns just look completely out of sorts against the Baltimore Ravens. And I know the Baltimore Ravens are a really talented team and things like that, but I still think if you were to swap places with the Bengals and the Browns last week, I feel like the Cincinnati Bengals would have had a better showing against the Baltimore Ravens than the Cleveland Browns did. Because the Cleveland Browns were just all kinds of out of sorts. They just couldn't get nothing going on offense besides running the football. So, I mean, I think that Cincinnati is going to end up winning this game. I know Browns fans are probably going to be upset with that. But I just think that the Cincinnati Bengals are just further along more on offense than the Cleveland Browns are. And also on top of that, I just think that the Bengals' defense as of right now is better than the Cleveland Browns' defense. I mean, the Cleveland Browns' defense, I just don't trust their linebackers, and I really don't like the interior of their defensive line. So I'm going to take the Bengals to win this game. I think Cincinnati wins this game. 20 to 14 is going to be my final score prediction in this game. Because I don't think this game is going to be all that high scoring. But at the same time, I think Cincinnati comes out and they get the win. Because I just don't think Cleveland is further enough offensively to score enough points needed to win this game. And although it's not going to be a lot of points needed to win this game, I just trust the Cincinnati Bengals a little bit more than I trust the Cleveland Browns based on their week one showing against the Chargers. And I know the Ravens are a better team than the Chargers. That's a team that the Cleveland Browns ended up losing to. But it's just that when you look at that game, if you were to swap places and you just put the Cincinnati Bengals in that game versus the Baltimore Ravens, I feel like they could have did a little bit more better and performed a little bit more on offense than what the Cleveland Browns were able to do. So I'm taking Cincinnati to win this game. 20-14 is my final score prediction in this matchup.